So I just screwed these on, they're overlapped a fair bit, just so it's, the window will have a nice transition into the side windows. And now it's the same distance there. And from my data datum point here to up here is the right measurements as well. So everything's all symmetrical this way. I do know that I put the dash in uh, five mil crooked that way. And I think it's offset that way uh, 10 mil but you'll never know. <laughs> I will, but, well, actually everyone will know now. <laughs> there we go, it looks nice and straight now. I just trimmed it back. Well, that didn't turn out quite like I wanted. It's only got one layer on the inside and the other one fell off like you saw. So I'm gonna use the one that I was gonna use on that, on the outside, on the inside of this one and, and get it like that. Hopefully it holds its shape. And the fiberglass fell off the panel. I thought it would be easier to bring the table to the panel rather than the other way, which probably wasn't the right choice. And then to make things more frustrating, the fiberglass just did not want to go down nicely, so I ended up scrapping that sheet of fiberglass. I um, fiberglass the inside rather than the outside because at the moment this is a, uh, like like a dummy window, and then I need to make the the mould that the perspex will lay over, um, starting from uh, uh, this this face. So I need to fair this face. I would have rather have fiberglassed both sides, but yeah, you saw what happened. These foam chocks are just holding that uh, panel just that tiny bit straighter. And for some reason, after I put resin on everything, I got a gap there, same gap on the other side. Don't know why. And then I've got some dumbbell weights holding, pushing that foam into that corner. And the same on that side. Once I removed the foam windows, I ended up fiberglassing the other side as well because it still was too flexible. So 
So that's the foam windows pretty much done. I've just got to make them stiff enough to be able to do a mold for the, laying the Perspex over now. So while they're drying, my dad and I decide to see how the old roof fits on. It'd be really good if I could reuse the old roof, just modify it a little bit. That's a lot of fiberglass that I won't need to use. I got to admit the roof is much lighter than the deck. I think in one of my videos I said it was heavier than my deck and that's definitely not true, but it is very solid and very strong. I've made a frame in here, then centered it with the laser. I've got a mark for center there and then center of that window. I've got the roof sitting on the window, the bodgy window frame. Put some wooden splints up to the height of that and up to that. And then measured from there to the top of there and then transferred it to there. And then I've got a bit of a gap here which is kind of looking like it's gonna work. And then I'm just gonna drop it down on the pulleys and hopefully she'll be right. <laughs> so I've somehow got to put a lip on the roof to make it look like it's flat, but then it'll still give me the head height from behind, which will be great. But I'm thinking I'm probably gonna cut the windows down a little bit uh, it just looks a little bit funny like that. I, I, I think it'll look better down a bit further. I know it'll look more like a low rider, like what they came looking like. I'd rather it look cool than be slightly more practical. I'm shallow, I'm vain. <laughs> Call me what you want, I don't care. It's like a hot rod. It'll be cool, but at the moment, it's that high and before I'm pretty sure it was about that high so even if it's down here it's still going to be higher anyway it's all supported off my bodgy frame in here I kind of ran out of wood and I didn't like, I, I would have scrounged together something to triangulate it more, but it seems stiff enough like that, so... Sideways, sideways, I'm, I'm only going to take it out onto the road so I can have a better look at it. I'll show you guys as well. Even Luke's drawing says there's a gap there. <laughs> Uh, I gotta fix it. Before I could take the boat out, I needed to trim my hedges. I pretty much neglected my house. It's a tight fit getting it down my driveway, even when the bushes are not there. So the roof's just sitting there really bodgy at the moment. I didn't want to stuff anything up. Sorry about my drone videos. The picture is a little bit wobbly because I've crashed it too many times.
<laughs> it's so hard to find music. Please like and subscribe.